This is the weirdest watch I have ever worn. Welcome everyone to another episode and today we're going to talk about the new Rolex GMT Master 2 with the black and green bezel the lefty, the Destro, the new one. I'm always on the hunt for a watch to add to my collection, but for that, it needs to be a bit different. It needs to be a little bit of an oddball, to be precise. And there are a couple of specs that I look for. The right strap size, um, the right fit, height, and dimensions that need to go on my wrist, and, well, there has to be something special about it. So when Rolex released their new GMT watch this year, I was actually pretty intrigued and this is what I had to say on the day it was released. Well, a big bang, let's put it like this. The GMT Master 2 left-handed with the green and black bezel. So my first thoughts were, wow, this is kind of awkward and somewhat strange, different, let's put it like this. I'm left-handed, although I wear my watches on the left hand and not on the right hand, so I'm doing it wrong anyway. I do think there's a lot of utility in this watch and for me personally, it was much, much more intuitive to wind and set the watch. I think it looks great. I like the color combo. It's gonna sell out super fast. It's a cool watch, most definitely. Probably one of my favorites currently from the whole GMT Master lineup just because it's a little bit different and I like different watches. The watch caused quite some stir. Obviously, being at Watches and Wonders, everyone was waiting for the new Rolex releases. Let's get into deep with the new Rolex GMT Master 2 reference 126720 VT NR. The new left-handed GMT Master 2 has all the same dimensions, the same specs as its counterparts, the Batman, the Pepsi, and Root Beer, the two-tone versions, the full gold versions. Everything basically is the same when we talk about the specs. We have 100 meters of water resistance. We have the 3285 caliber with 70 hours of power reserve. So basically everything stayed the same. And yet this watch is completely different than all the other ones. That that's not only because it has a green and black bezel. Nobody really knows why Rolex actually decided to make a left-handed watch. This is exactly the thing that makes this particular watch so different to its brothers and sisters. Namely, we have the crown on the left side. Well, if it were just the crown, then we'd all say okay, but Rolex decided to also change the date window to the left side as well, making the date at nine o'clock seems surreal, very strange, but kind of works. How does the watch actually feel on the wrist and how does it work in everyday situations? Well, I'll be totally honest with you. It got me confused tons of times. The first time I had it on my wrist, I actually put it on my wrist upside down. And I see myself doing that a couple of times when taking it off and putting it on a stand or in a watch roll or actually putting it on the wrist. However, if you have it on your wrist, nothing really changes. It just looks different and it feels different. I am a left-handed person myself, therefore I still do it the wrong way. I wear my watches on my left hand. It has something intriguing. And the one thing that I really, really like that maybe some people dislike a lot is that when the watch slides under your cuff of your shirt, your sweater or whatever, it actually looks like there is no date window on it and makes the watch like very minimalistic and this is something I truly appreciate when looking at the watch because it's obviously not about reading the time or looking up the date or something like that. It's more of just enjoying the watch for what it is, a timepiece of craftsmanship and art. Still, the process is very intuitive and therefore you shouldn't have any problems wearing it. So why did I pick up this one and not the Batman or the Pepsi or the Root Beer or any of the precious metal versions? It goes back to the first thing I said. I am looking for an oddball to add to my collection, something that's completely different and that potentially nobody likes, actually. If you remember, I have a Rolex Milgauss with the green sapphire crystal. And this is something that I really appreciate because Again, it's an oddball in terms of Rolex. Same goes for the Air King and a couple of different other Rolex pieces. And therefore, it just makes made sense to 
go for this one and not a different GMT. And yes, I did take it off the Jubilee and put it on a strap because come on, 20 millimeter lugs, perfect to try out different kinds of straps. 